Hello friends, Dan Harlicker from On One here. I'm excited to talk to you today about On One Photo Raw 2024.3. It's a free update to our award-winning On One Photo Raw 2024. If you haven't heard of On One Photo Raw before, it's the most complete all-in-one AI-based photo organizer and editor. Imagine if Lightroom and Photoshop got together and had a baby, you'd have something like Photo Raw. Let's jump in and show you all the cool new features. The biggest new feature in PhotoRaw 2024.3 is the integration of No Noise 2024. This includes brand new models for noise reduction and deep blurring. Let me show you how they work here. I've got this photo of a bear. You can see it was taken with, you can see it was captured on a modern camera with a great lens, but the ISO is really high, 25,600. And if we zoom in close, you can see there's quite a bit of noise. I'm going to zoom in up to like 200% so you can see how big and scary this noise is. It's more noise than you can bear. Let's go ahead and turn no noise on and take a look at the results. There you go. On the right hand side you see after no noise, the left side before. I'm just going to move this slider back and forth so you can see the difference. So there's before and there's after, just like that. You can see it's found the noise, it's wiped away the color noise, it's wiped away the luminance noise as well, kept the color, actually made the color even more accurate, but kept all of the tiniest little, it kept all the tiniest little details. You can still see the texture in the bear's nose. You can see the individual little hairs in the fine fur beneath the eyes. It's crazy how detailed and accurate it can be. Let's take a look at some other spots in the photo here. There you go, you can see the background. Let's take a look at before and after on the background. There's before, no noise, and after, just like that. Now wildlife and birds are one of those places where we tend to use long lenses and high ISOs. Let me show you another example. This is photo was pre-processed in another application. Let's take a look at the noise in this one. Wow, that is some pretty big noise on this photo too. Let's take a look and see what no noise can do. There we go. I'm just going to move that scrubby slider back and forth. There's before and there's after. That's pretty crazy that it can take a photo that noisy and turn it into something like that. It's basically taken a photo that was pretty much unusable before. Let's go back to 100%. Something that was almost unusable before and turn it into something you'd be really proud of. Now it works with any subject matter. It doesn't just have to be birds and wildlife. It works with landscapes and people, you name it. Let's take a look at a landscape photo. This again is a modern photo from a brand new camera, but it's 16,000 ISO, shot pretty late in the evening. Let me zoom in and you guys can take a look at how big that noise pattern is. This is at 200%, making it easier for you guys to see through a video. Let's turn on no noise. And again, there's before and after. It's crazy how I can clean up the sky clean up and maintain all the detail in the trees in the mountain in the background and the trees in the foreground. Also included in this update are new models for Tac Sharp. Tac Sharp helps you take a photo that's a little out of focus, whether it be the camera's lens was out of focus or the camera was bumped or the subject was moving and helps to bring everything back into focus. It's pretty amazing what it can do. Let's take a look at this photo here. This is one of those ones where, boy, the camera probably is just a little bit out of focus. And it'd be a great shot if it had been in focus. Well, let's see what Tack Sharp can do to it. There we go. Again, there's the before on the left and after on the right. You can see how it's like turning the lens standing behind the camera. It can take that out of focus shot and make it in focus. And of course, if you have a noisy out of focus photo, you can use the both option to combine both deblurring and denoising together at the same time. And because you're inside of Photo Raw, you can apply this differently on different layers, allowing you to mask in different results in different spots if you needed to. Along with the improvements to no noise and tack sharp, we've also made export up to twice as fast using your built-in GPU to do even faster export processing. You'll notice that a lot when you're working with no noise, attack sharp, resize, any of the heavy, powerful AI-based algorithms. As you guys know, we did a lot of improvements to the user interface in Photo Round 2024, and we haven't rested on our laurels. We continue to make improvements based on your guys' suggestion. One of the things we wanted to do was give you a little bit more control over the user interface. So whenever you see these kind of tabs in the user interface, you have the ability to reorder them or turn them on or off. So let's say you're not a portrait user. 
you can simply click on the little hamburger and you can turn portrait off and the portrait tab will disappear. You can simply click on that menu to bring it back if you want to work on a portrait photo. You can also drag things into a different order. So let's say that you happen to want to use effects first in your order. You can drag it to the far left and you can put those tabs in any order that you want to. These changes hold true inside of browse as well. Let's say you're not a big fan of the navigator. Well, you could simply hide the navigator tab just by selecting the hamburger menu and turning the navigator off. You can go a step beyond that here inside of Browse as well. There are individual panes you can turn off. If there's panes you're not interested in, you can hide them. So let's say you don't use the keyword list and you're not a keyword person. Just click on the hamburger menu and select hide and that keyword list goes away. Or maybe you don't use tethered shooting. You could do the same thing, just select hide. You can always bring those back by going up to the window menu and you can access anything from here. There's a handful of other subtle UI improvements we made. One I wanted to point out is here in the color balance filter. We recently introduced the color wheel control. From your feedback, we've made it larger and we've also made it scale. So as you grab the right hand splitter, if you drag the window larger, those color wheels will get even bigger. And we've added the ability to lock the color angle. So for example, if I was to adjust the color angle over here to make it warmer, I can now adjust just the saturation by holding down the shift key. Now, as I adjust the saturation value, you notice the angle won't change at all as well. And of course, if I want to do the opposite, I want to keep the saturation lock, but only adjust the hue angle, I can grab the outer dot to make that adjustment as well. We've also improved support for linear RAW files like the Apple ProRes RAW files from the iPhone and some of the other Android phones that shoot RAW as well. This also adds improved support for some in-camera features. Plus we've fixed some bugs and we've added uh, new cameras and new lens support as well. All right, there you go. Lots of great new features in PhotoRAW 2024.3. Now, if you're already an owner of On One PhotoRAW 2024, just download the update and you can start using these great new features today. Now, if you haven't upgraded to 2024 yet, now's the time. Visit onone.com to find the best deal for you. If you forgot what's new in 2024, let me tell you about the most important features. The first one is Brilliance AI. It uses the power of AI to analyze your photo, understand what it is in it, and automatically adjust the tone and color for you. And it goes beyond just a basic tone and color adjustment. It can even identify objects in regions like people and sky and adjust those for you automatically too. Then there's the new AI Style Advisor. It looks at your photos, learns your way of editing, can, and can help you automatically edit your photos in the future, making your editing a lot faster. And speaking of faster, we spent a lot of time on performance and stability. This is the fastest, most stable version of PhotoRAW ever. And we've taken the user interface, we've made it sleeker and more modern, which makes it easier for you to use, lets you get to just the right tools at your fingertips. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching.